I don't understand why this won't even. Hey, Jill. I'm back, Jill. Um, yeah, Claudia, girl, you know I don't like the end like that. You know I like the end. You know, we tell everybody to get that jet. <clears throat> and we was having a good conversation. And I'm up like a motherfucker because it's 11 o'clock here. And it's like three something at home. So my body just all fucked up. This is what I hate about going out of town. Is because I don't know how to work their motherfucking TVs. Baby, tell all what clubs are in Austin. Tell them to send for me. Take my video, Jasmine Masters, book the judge. Take that video. You can share the link and tag, I mean, and post it in the club's email addresses. On their Facebook page, their personal, all that. And we can get it. Your husband's snoring again. Girl, give, pop your ass on him, give him a little elbow. You know, cough a little and hit him at the same time. If not, that is a proper and a uh, absolute, no, that is a proper cause for him to sleep his ass in another room or on the couch. That's snoring I can handle. Let me go to sleep first. I know what happened Friday, Jill. Where are you at? Simply is me 21. Saw you at the drag brunch a couple of weeks again. I mean, weeks ago, I think. And your glitter green pencil was everything. Oh, thank you, Jill. Dublin, what happened in Dublin? Why you can't see me in Dublin, Jill? Utah, baby. You got to tell them the same for me, Jill. You'll be seeing me Sunday, Jill. Be prepared, Jill. Wait, you in Utah simply? Are you in Mississippi? Yes, Miss Miss. Oh, Khadija. That was my any name. Uh, and she from Mississippi. Ain't that a bitch? She passed away, though. Um... I need to come to Mississippi and get my jail. My cousin's in Mississippi. She's in uh, Jackson getting her jail. Is there a hamburger Mary's out there, Jill? I need to find that out, figure that out. Oh, I know your name right, Khadijah, because my auntie's name is Khadijah. I know they probably call you cottager and all type of shit. Don't know what the fuck they saying. No, I'm not going to be doing any drinking in Dublin, Jill. Water, coffee, and that's about it. I will, I'm going to try to make it out there. Because I want to see my cousin. I want to see Coach D. Oh, you in London? Oh, Jill. Well, hopefully I could be back in London soon. No, don't have no weed, Jill. <clears throat> What's up, Ashalanda Conda? <laughs> Where you been? <laughs> Ashalanda Conda cut. This is, I bought this for my 40th when I turned 40 last year. And then I bought this one the other day because I worked my ass out, Jill. 
And I wasn't even going to go buy it. I just happened to see it and tried it on and told that motherfucking man, why don't you fit this down a little bit? Put that on my goddamn pinkies, okay? So I have to backhand a hoe. I can bling her out. Okay. But yes, you know how to take care of myself. I woke up. I was like, bitch, I made it to 40. Buy you some diamonds. And I walked right in there and looked and seen what I wanted. That right there is what I want. I didn't give a fuck. I wasn't paying no bill anyway in October, so it didn't matter what the fuck I did. Shit. It didn't even fucking matter. For real. I'm happy for Beyonce getting her gym. Now I have a reason to go see the play. Because I ain't never seen the play. Okay, thanks, Troy. You know, I'm proud of me too, Jim. That's why I'd be so happy. You have a long way before you 40. What are you, in your teens? You a teenager, Jim? You buy yourself certain baby, you buy whatever the fuck you want. Okay, I'm traveling the world, all that TJ. Oh, you still a baby, 23, but you still cute. You still get your J. But now I was 23. Oh, I was in a relationship. But I was still getting my fucking gist out. Fuck that. Uh, do it. I'm about to hit it. I'll be back. Just because you bored don't mean I'm about to sit up here and look like watching TV with Miss Daisy. I'm finna go out here and get my motherfucking jib. I'll be back in due time. But you in your 20s, babe, you have to go enjoy them 20s. Enjoy. If you don't have any kids, enjoy your 20s. But always, you know, keep a job and <clears throat> all that so you can take care of yourself. No kids, enjoy. Because when you start getting into the relationship life and the, the hard working life and the kid mama life, baby, that slows down for real. Because you have a whole nother life, but you young. Well, even if you do have a kid and you're 23, you can still get your fucking life. But don't get it too much because you got to raise your child. Yeah, work for yours. Yeah, that's the best way. Okay, fuck that. Baby, I'll tell everybody. <laughs> You better enjoy. I don't understand what people be thinking. Baby, don't nobody have time to wait to enjoy. Because you don't know when you dying. What the fuck? You better get your ass out there and have some fun. Something that you never wanted to do, just fucking do it. Some things. Everything you may want to do may not be good. But some of the things you just got to say, fuck that, bitch. I'm going. Whether you go by yourself. Or you have a friend to go with, whatever. I go by, by myself, bitch, peace. You guys to go and enjoy. And I would say that forever because you have to. Some people can't even do the things that some of us could do. I mean, we walking around, we doing all this shit. Everybody, everybody not walking around. They wish they could, but they're not. And we take things like that for granted. Hearing different things, seeing it. Baby, please, I guess my fucking judge. Do you hear me? That's why I got my ass warmed the fuck up. Stacy, girl, I'm hungry again. And I hits it. Enjoy the Olive Garden. Stacy, two floors down for me. Girl, did you ever get something to eat? Because, bitch, I'm kind of hungry. I 
All your priorities come first. And the best way to enjoy yourself is taking care of your priorities. Because then you don't have to worry about that. That's enough worrying about something. All that other shit. Yeah, I'm excited about coming to Scotland, baby. I seen your message earlier. I'm sorry. I was in my gym. So wings from where, girl? From KFC? Bitch, I told you to let me know when you was going to order something. Now I got to go out in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> And go get my gym. Because you didn't call. Yep. You gotta prioritize your gym. And I think that's the best thing. Um, I think that's the best why I always be so happy. Because I don't have the, the stress of bills and shit. Some random place. The lady at the front just ordered for me. Oh. Well, bitch, I got my hot sauce. As long as they cook it. I'll tell them, leave my wings in here five minutes longer. No, they don't have a wing stop here. I did see a wing something, but it's not a wing stop. But they have Burger King and McDonald's that I've seen. They have Fridays. That was horrible. I won't be back there. They have Subway. That's all I've seen. Yeah, I tell them to leave mine in there. When y'all think it's done, just uh, leave mine in there five minutes longer. Because I want to make sure it's extra done on my behalf. And I'm fine with that. But I can't do nothing with a whole thing full of uh, half-cooked shit. We'll trash it. Baby, that omelet was so motherfucking nasty. Uh, Stacy, girl, that's why I was like, fuck that. I don't want no more of that. I want to try the steakhouse. No, I don't think they have rooms, room service here. I love ranch. Fridays was horrible. I got an omelet with avocado and bacon and cheese. It was nothing but avocado, and it was runny. Everything was runny. Now, I'm, baby, I took a bite out of that, put that right back in the napkin, and left her right where she was. No, ma'am. Wings of Buffalo Ranch. Uh, off you come to the. Well, honey, they said for me, I will. I ain't never had that chicken. These potatoes are good. Bitch, try the chicken, girl. And then I just came to Chicago. Okay, well, I'm going to be out there for three days. So I have, well... Well, I'm going to be out there for about about three days. So I have time to try them and let y'all know what I think. I'm in Manchester, Jeff. I'm getting my Jeff. Then I'm in Dublin on Friday, Jeff. I'm not going to Liverpool, Jeff. Baby, my vocals is not right to be singing, no ma'am. And it's too late for me to hit my high notes up in this hotel. And if I want to stay here another night. Um, you know what I mean? I don't know when I'm coming to Austin, Texas. I need to try to see if I can come out there while I'm going to be in Dallas and Houston. No, it's not expensive to book me, Jeff. I know some other girls are getting paid way more than me. And they pay for them hoes. I don't, well, you know, if they can get it, get it. Sweet potato fries. Mm-hmm. In February, the first week in February, I'm in Houston. 
and then the last week in January, the 28th, 9th, and all that, I'm in uh, Dallas for S4, so I could be a whore. Happy birthday, Ann. You don't say tell me, you say it's my birthday. So I just gave you a birthday present, gave you a lesson on that too. Baby, I don't know where I'm at out here. I'm so sorry. I have no idea, Jay, where I'm at. All I know is I'm in Dublin somewhere, honey. You got to look up Holy Trinity. Dot com. On Facebook, on the search or something. They got all the gist and gist. On Twitter, Holy Trinity. I just know they're picking my ass up at a certain time and be ready. Meet and greet, then perform. Out of drag, back to the room. I never been because I never been asked to go to Mississippi. Well, you know what? I was asked to go to Mississippi one time, but I was already going somewhere. But I have never been asked or I just never went. But I always wanted to go, though. And now that I have a cousin out there going to um, Jackson, and I wanted to go to Jackson when I got out of school. I wanted to go to Grambling, no. Grambling or uh, Jackson is where I want to go. But I would love to come out there, especially when the sun is out and it's not, you know, fucked up. I'm going to be in Flor Fort Lauderdale. Um... I'm not sure when because I'm going to try to work at the lips. Not the lips. Well, the lips out there and the um, the Marys. But I'm going to be in Florida for about a week and a half. So even if I don't work, which I wouldn't, wouldn't be mad about because I want to see the city. Because I've never been to, I, I want to see the state. I've never been to Florida. So I want to drive to different places and get my jet. And it's cute to work and make a coin. But it won't be, you know, a coin like that. So just really be missing out on the coin. But I'll take the coin, though. But I want to get my jet. I want to relax and enjoy Florida, Miami, Orlando, Tampa, Fort Lauderdale. Jacksonville, you know, I want to be able to just breathe and take time. I mean, I'll be back. I love Katia. Okay, we're done with drag race people. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Walk around with my shorts and my flip-flops. I don't want to get in the water, though. But I just want, you know, not to see water. But I just want to walk around and Get Chicago all up in my nostrils. Well, I don't like to say that. And get uh, Florida all up in my gym. Because I've never been to Florida. Only to dry, fly to the Bahamas. Always trying to build an empire. I got babies to look after. And I need to make sure whether I build it to enjoy it or I build it and they're going to enjoy it. And when they old enough, they, they don't have to work for nobody. That's my goal. Fuck that pizza. Uh, what about pizza? All right, Miami. Need you to check up. That's gone. I'm throwing that check on you. Well, I hope not. Well, I got friends and stuff and family out there, so the only person I'm staying with is my sister, Chevelle. I may stay with Sonika there, too, but she don't live far from my sister, Chevelle. She lives in Orlando, too, and I may stay with her, <clears throat> but other than that, baby, I'm getting me a room. If I'm not at my sister, Chevelle house, which I'm there most of the time anyway, unless I go, like, to my, I mean, uh... And as I go like to Miami and I don't want to drive back or Fort Lauderdale or something like that and I don't want to drive back, baby, I'm getting me a room. 
Other than that, uh-uh. Oh, my little Dora with the blue lipstick. And I got my Dora. I got my Dora right in my bag. I may put her on for while I'm out here, Jeff, and wear my Dora. Oh, that's kind of eerie, Jeff, because I had this. Um, this is like a deja vu moon, uh, moment, Jeff. You know, sometimes you see something, and then you be like, oh, this feel like this already happened. Lord Jesus, I hope nothing's going on. No, you know what? I'm really not good with that Airbnb because that's somebody else's house that you're in. And there, there's a lot of cameras that people have nowadays that you don't even know that are cameras. <coughs> and <coughs> not saying they can't, they can't be in a hotel room, but in somebody's personal house that they are renting out. It's kind of eerie on that. And I'm not a celebrity, so I don't, I don't need to be in no B&B. Do you do an Airbnb, baby? Because I don't, um, oh, I'll be real still, just silent, just, but I'm not, you know, it's not false. <clears throat> yeah, Deja Vu is very weird. It's just like, oh, that felt like, I don't know what I'm going to eat tonight other than these fucking chips. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck happened to my nail. I had, I had some, um, look what I found for $10, and this is the real shit, but I bought two of them, even though I could have got them cheaper, but I, I'm very low on mine, and now I know I can spray myself like I need to while I'm out and stuck, and I don't want to be stinking in front of people. And the words, Airbnb. Yeah. I'm good. I don't like all that. One place tried to put us up in one. I said, baby, you can put me at the Motel Hotel 6. I don't want to be in them things. That's somebody else's shit. And they got cameras. You sitting there taking your clothes off. You in the bathroom and all that. No, ma'am. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. You have to be careful about that. So I love when somebody try to be sly and maybe try to read on the low because, bitch, I always think ahead. You got to. You always have to think ahead. And don't nobody have time for that? Oh, uh, well, no, I I mean, I know some people who have pretty good, I I mean, uh, experiences out of them. But for me personally, I think about things like that. So I'm always like, nah, I'm cool. Because if I do, I'm going to shower in my damn robe because I just know people out there are sick and crazy. And people, they show us things when people get caught doing that type of shit to have you prepared to watch out with your surroundings. And I don't need to do that. Hey, from Argentina. But no, I'm not, I don't, I don't need no Airbnb. We talked about getting one like for different things, but I'm always like, bitch, I'll go to the hotel. Because at least I know why you could still sue someone for, from that situation. <clears throat> but a hotel... The Marriott, the Hilton, one of the baby plays. You know how much money you about to get for them doing some shit like that? Not saying I would want to do it because I'll get paid, but 
Shit, y'all gonna do something dumb? Well, I'm gonna do something dumb with your asses. Pay me. It is a sick world we live in. That's why I don't do all that shit. No, man. I'm cool on that shit. Even when Latrice them have one one time and I had to pee so bad. She was like, girl, use the bathroom, bitch. I'm finna go down here to my car and I have an empty bottle bottle and I'm finna pee all up in that. But I'm not pissing in these people's house. They got pictures posted the fuck up. Everything look like a camera to me. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. I'm cool. I am like, nah, I'm cool as hell. But <clears throat> everything's, you know, ain't for everybody. You never know. So that's why things like that, I just feel if I could just take myself out of something like that, then just do it. And that's why I don't do that. That's why I don't do that. Because I don't want to have in my mind thinking that what if this happens? Then you see something on TV and somebody was recording something. And you're just like, oh, my God, I don't have time for that. That's why I don't go over guys' houses because I don't have time for that either, you know? I just don't. They may have cameras over there. No, I I'm good. I'm scary and I'm good. They don't come to my house because I don't want people knowing where I stay. So, uh-uh. Probably why I'm single now. It's just going to be me talking about the same stuff I talk on here in my I Have Something to Say videos. Just talking about different topics and stuff and giving my gym. Yeah, you, you would never think about it because people's minds don't go there and just be thinking that. But baby, I don't watch so much TV and I heard and seen so much shit. My mind is always on a what the fuck if. And what if I get one of these motherfucking rooms or houses and somebody got all my shit? No, ma'am. They just watching me just run up and down the hallway, butt ass so naked. Just doing anything. Nah, I'm cool. Then they sharing your shit. People watching you. They making all this money. They talk about, no, no, no. People are sick in the world. How can you get over the past? Baby, the past is the past. You can't do nothing about it. You got to let that go and get that off your shoulders. That's holding you down on a lot of things. Because that already happened. Whatever happened, already happened. So the only thing you might want to say, fuck it, it happened to me. Or it happened, I know what to do next time so it don't happen again. And move on from it. But you can't, you can't be in the past. Life is to move forward. You still back there, baby. We all up here. You'd have missed out a whole lot by being in the past. You would have been got over that. You got to get that over with. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm always, I'm always, uh, I can't call her. Uh, about going out by yourself. Uh, yeah, I guess I can, Jill. I should be writing this shit down, Jill. So I can just open it up and just get right to it. Because sometimes my mind just go blank. No, I come back. I come back here to Manchester before. I come back here to fly out. But baby, I don't even know the itinerary. To be honest with you, all I know is right now I'm just going where they say go. I got it written down. Well, I got the email and shit. I'm here. So whatever they say, okay, this is what we doing our show. All right, I'm ready. The bag is packed. 
Let's get this show on the ball. It is, my love, 12, well, 11.56. We eight hours ahead from California. So it's like eight hours difference. Not too many different hours. My day was wonderful, love. How was yours? Cool and hot, cool and wet. Hate it. I'll be all right. Trust me, I'll be all right. Babe, I'd have been in snow, walking blocks. And if it's cold and wet, I'm good. As long as I can get my ass back on a plane to get to my next destination, I am perfect. It's like 4 p.m. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like the hours are different, but I'm glad I'm on the same day. <coughs> well, pretty much because when I was in um, Australia, baby, we was a whole 16 hours. I think ahead of everybody. Every Tuesday morning there in California, it's Wednesday afternoon. Like, bitch. Yeah, and I'm waiting for Love and Hip Hop. Not Love and Hip Hop. I'm waiting on Empire to come on. I'm just going to be up, Jen. That's why I'm on here talking to y'all even more, Jen. Oh, I love my Vicky Vox. That is my bitch right there. That hoe. Baby. That bitch right there. She keeps me informed. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of tight. All right. Where'd I come from? You wasn't like that. Damn, yeah, you tight, Jen. All right, I'm, I'm working. I've been laughing. Thank y'all. I've been laughing with y'all for the past. Well, I'm always laughing with y'all. But the last couple of conversations we had, you back on it, girl. The last couple of conversations we had, I had fallen out so bad. My stomach was hurting. So that now I worked out that, that muscle up in yonder to give me back where I belong. I need to support more of they're local queens. They really do. Honestly, they do. They really do. And that's why I never try to overbook people because I always ask them, if you have girls in the club, are you taking any girls out of the, out of the show that night? And if they say yes, nope, we can't do that. Not on my behalf. I would prefer for them to pay all the girls. Like if they had to take out a girl or two just to make sure they had my fee, baby, take them, give them their money, put them in a show, and then give me whatever's after that. Because them bitches still have to eat. They still have bills. This is a lot of our only job. And I can't go in there because my fee is so high and they got to send the bitches home. No, we can't do that. No, on my watch. I don't want to do that. Let's have them all come to work. Everybody get their pay. And if y'all got to lower mine down because I want all the girls to get paid, then fucking do it. I don't care. But I, I can't do that. Because I mean, I do stuff, if I do something like that to someone, I'm doing that to myself. And I've been down that road before. And it's not cute. I had to stay home a couple of times, uh, you know, about when some of the girls came into town. They said, oh, well, you know, our budget real high, so we're going to just not put you on this week. We'll put you on the next week. Well, I was thankful to get on the next week, but I didn't want to be sitting at home because this bitch came into town. Fuck her fee. Shit. What about my motherfucking fee when I'm here every fucking night with tables and chairs when we had them? But, you know, you just say, okay. But I don't want to do that. So that's never been my type of gym. I just say, nope, this, let's make it work. Fuck it. I'm good with it. And I remember one time I went, um, I think I was in Austin. Now, Austin is where I gave that girl some money for her pageant. 
where was I? I was somewhere, and there was a girl there, and she norm she would normally get paid like fifty dollars or so for being there, but they didn't pay her because I was there. Bitch, take this money, girl, and get your job. Y'all can't, you can't do that to me. Nope, you can't pull. I, I don't like. I don't play that game. Mm -mm. Because shit, to, to be honest, if I was at home doing the same exact thing, I'd be getting way less than that. You know, so no, we can't do that. Yeah, this is a little vape. It ain't nothing. People do get greedy. They get really greedy and really just outrageous with a lot of things. But if people are going to allow them to do it, then let them do it. Like I had to tell somebody who was who booked the girls and they had picked us up and they complained. But baby, from what I can understand and remember, you booked them three times already. So I really don't want to hear you talk about them like that and you booked them three times. So, what are, you, what are you telling me for? You booked them three times and you say every time it's horrible. And you're booking them again. So, they're going to be here four times on a, you know, all this stuff you said they're doing. Why are you booking them? People only treat you the way they treat you when you allow them to. I don't give a fuck what's going on in the world. And what situation it is, people will only treat you the way you allow them to treat you. If you don't take bullshit, they won't give you bullshit. But if you sitting there letting bullshit get to you and they're treating you like shit, well, goddamn it, you letting them do it. You ain't standing up for yourself. You're not saying, hey, you can't talk to me like that. You're not saying nothing. Fuck a job, all that. Your respect come way more than that. You let them know, okay, you know what, all that, I don't like all that. But you can't complain about shit, you ain't trying to fix it. <coughs> you just got to shut the fuck up about it. And that's just simple. Shit. I really want to hear some Michael Jackson. Oh, hold on, dear. Oh, I didn't want to get my ass up over here. Oh. Oh. Uh. 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 Oh. Escape. I want a beer. Might as well. I'm just sitting here any goddamn way. Oh, I love you too. <clears throat> yeah, send me a picture. What song is in my head by Michael Jackson? Dangerous. That girl is so dangerous. <laughs> the girl is so dangerous. I hope to pray to God that I know what they will find. I'm sorry, Sam Sue. Cause you ain't no friend of mine. How? Who? I can't sleep away at night. He didn't text, but did y'all uh, run your coins? Okay. Can we get a potato man? Come to fall out of there. Oh, yeah. Where's the potato man at? I keep hearing about this potato fucking man. I believe she is married now. At least I really hope she will, because I think King is a beautiful woman. I really do. And I would love to see her happy.
Jay, are you on here? We got a what? Get to Portland. There's a bit. Glowing under the sidewalk dishes. Dangerous king is gorgeous. I think she is also. Who is king? Get your life. <laughs> Never mind, baby. If you don't know, we ain't got time to break that down. And King is from the Housewives, baby, of Atlanta. If you don't know what that is, baby, you're too young to be on here. Jill. You know what? I really don't have a favorite beer, but for some reason I have been drinking Coronas since I was in, um, where was I at, Jeff? Australia. And, uh, but I really, I'm cool with beer. I don't know. You tell me how it was Dublin. I ain't been there yet. I just got here today. I'm in Manchester. Yes, me too, love. I hope I, you know, rock the house out for you. I hope you get your jib. I'm definitely going to try to entertain you. So I can get my jib. No. Child molesters. Okay, am I logged in? What's going on, Jim? Meet and greet. We are doing meet and greets. <clears throat> I love meet and greets. Because I get to get my Jim. I get to talk to everybody. Find out what's going on. Tell me what's going on with you. Little one-on-one. This time, I'm taking pictures with my camera. As well. Because I want my picture too. Shit. I'd be happy to see y'all just as well as y'all be happy to see me. Where this fucking shit at? Ah, oh, Gina. I cannot cry. Damn. What did I do with the fucking password? Ain't that a bitch? Hold on, Jim. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> uh. I think I'm gonna go down to the bar. Have me a cocktail. My friend drag show, so I'm looking forward to all oh, baby. I'm gonna do everything I could do to get. How long did it take for the just baby? Them just shirt sold out that day. They was gone, and I didn't even realize that we was even out of the black and uh, silver ones. And so I was having a double check. They were like, what? No, what are we doing? Bitch, we out. Out? No, ma'am. And I guess I did get sent the message, <clears throat> but I didn't get it. Escape. There's always time for a cocktail. In the words of my sister, Miss Kasha Davis. We were trying to get fucked up together. <clears throat> when I tell you we were trying to get our asses fucked up together. We have, you know, those little water jugs. Baby, I told her I was going to come over and visit. And we was going to 
put wine in one of those. Just fill that bitch up. We was about to be some drunk motherfuckers. No shade. But it didn't happen that way, Jen. I think I may have to switch over. A purple rain cocktail. They make that out here. I never heard that before. Purple rain. Purple rain. Yang, 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 yang. We're purple. Um, whenever you come to the show. Am I wearing purple? No, I'm wearing blue. I don't know what I'm wearing. I don't know what I'm wearing, Jim. Purple rain, purple rain.